Hi everyone. Fill in today's date. The title is subtracting integers. I'm going to write one statement that is true and then we're going to go from there. So you need to know that subtracting is the same as adding the opposite number. Subtracting is the same as adding the opposite number. Let me show you what I mean. Example, 10 minus 6. We all know the answer is 4. Okay, that's nothing new. If subtracting is the same as adding the opposite number, what we're going to do for any subtraction problem is we're going to change it to an addition problem and change the second number to the opposite of what it was. So this is 10 minus positive 6. We're going to change it to 10 plus a negative 6. Now this should keep the answer the same. Now this is adding integers. This is like the rules from before. Are the signs the same? No, they're different. So we're going to do something different. We're going to subtract. We're going to get a 4. And it's a positive 4 because the 10 is the greater number. So it does work. Now, would I make you do 10 minus 6, change it over? Probably not. You can do 10 minus 6. But let's say the problem was a little more difficult, like 10 minus 12. Now this is different. You can't have 10 things and take away 12 things, okay? So the easiest thing to do here is to, same rule, we're going to change the subtraction into adding the opposite of that second number. So now we have 10 plus a negative 12. The signs are different, so I subtract, I get a 2. Is that going to be positive or negative? In this case, it's actually going to be negative. So 10 take away 12 is negative 2. If you looked on a number line, if I could do that here, um, let's see, negative 2, negative 1, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? If you were at 10 and you took away 12 or you moved 12 in the negative direction, here I am at 10, Let's move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's why you get all the way back to negative 2. All right, so subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. Another way to remember it, you might have heard, is keep, change, change. Because what have we been doing? We've been keeping the first number the same. We're changing subtraction into addition, and we're changing, this was a positive 12, we're changing the sign of the second number. And if you do that every time there's subtraction, and then use the adding rules, you are good to go. All right, so let's try another problem here. Um, how about eight minus 13? Okay, I see this subtraction. I'm just going to go ahead and do keep change change. That's now addition, and that's a negative 13. Are the signs the same? No, they're different. So I subtract. I'm getting a 5, and 13 is greater, so that's a negative 5. How about if this second number is negative? Let's try um, 4 minus negative 3. Mm. Well, if you keep the 4, change this to addition, change this to a 3, you actually get 7. Interesting. 4 take away a negative 3 is the same as 4 adding 3. Because it's like you're going in the opposite direction of the negative, so you go positive. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, um, if they were both negative, let's try 
negative 12 minus negative 2. All right, just follow the rule. Keep the first number the same, so negative 12 stays the same. Change this, change that to a positive 2. So now negative 12 plus 2, the signs are different. So I subtract, I get a 10. It's going to be negative 10 because the 12 is greater. All right, I'm going to pause here for questions.